Well, join me now, Florida A&M University President Dr. Larry Robinson. Dr. Robinson, sir, welcome so uh, to be for being here. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I want to ask you first what the state is of the classes at FAMU, and have you firmed up plans for the fall semester yet? So thanks, Alex, for allowing me an opportunity to speak with you this afternoon. Yes, like many of our colleagues around the nation, we made a remarkable transformation from our normal classroom operations to a virtual environment in about a week's time, where we went from less than 10% of our operations remotely uh, offered to all of them. Uh, we are currently in that mode for all of the summer session, and uh, we are in the process of working with the state university system as well as internally to determine exactly what the fall semester is going to look like. Hmm. And, and I believe, as your uh, previous guests have said, that there will be uh, some sense of a, a new normal. Those details are, are, are forthcoming. I just want everyone to know that we're working really, really hard on it internally. And we're pleased to be proud of a state university system that has given priority to this and is developing a, a framework for all of us uh, to work in uh, in the state of Florida, higher education pretty ex uh, realm. Pretty extraordinary that uh, week you described that the, the way you had to change. I mean, it was, must have felt like whiplash there mm -hmm. at FAMU. But, um, Doctor, there is some concern that the HBCUs, some of them, won't make it through this pandemic. How realistic is that? And what could be done to stop that from happening? Well, let me first say that we are all very, very appreciative of the funds that have been provided us through uh, the CARES Act, uh, you know, those monies have gone to support students in need and to help offset some of the operational losses that we incurred as a result of refunding things such as uh, residence hall fees, uh, meal plans, etc. cetera. And, and we really want to thank those persons who've done that. But at the same time, we want to make sure that everyone understands that we still have some unmet need. Some of that is out of the historical you know, sort of underfunding of, of these colleges and universities around the nation. And a lot of that has to do with the practical, you know, realization that many of the monies that we've bidden, as appreciative as we are, don't make us whole in terms of offsetting all of the losses that we've had. For example, uh, you know, we were able to recoup those monies that we sent to students who paid for meal plans, but we lost the revenue that would have otherwise been generated had our eating facilities been, dining facilities been open uh, throughout the university mm -hmm. complex. And so on and on and on, you can see how those monies are important, but they don't make up for the, the gap that we have been created yeah. by this pandemic. No, 100%. Dr. Robinson, how concerned are you about fall enrollment overall? I mean, it's difficult for kids to even say visit the campus right now for consideration. What are your biggest concerns about that? So, so one of the things that we've done, we not only took our classroom offerings and instruction virtual, pretty much everything else, uh, including uh, we, we just had um, a, a virtual um, you know, spring preview. That's a huge event on campus that would have had somewhere between two and 3,000 students and their parents on campus to talk about the fall semester of 2020 as well as future semesters. We, we took that virtual. We, we are working very, very hard to ensure that students stay with us and understand that we, we're going to be operating uh, this fall. However, let me tell you though, I'm, I'm most concerned about the financial impacts that the coronavirus is gonna have on these students with over 33 million uh, families uh, unemployed or having someone in their households unemployed. Uh, with the disparities in, in income that already exists with the demographic that we serve, we're concerned that parents and families who had charted a course for their students to get with us this fall may not be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. And so I think those who are thinking about a new wave of uh, CARES Act type funding, whether you call it the HEROES Act or uh, something else, that's going to be very, very important to this demographic because I think the longer term impact beyond the disparities in the number of people and the health care and the health related impacts of this uh, disease on African American and communities of color and low income, the financial implications are going to be disparate as well. Yeah. 
Dr. Larry Robinson, the president of Florida A&M University, uh, I've got to say that we're big fans here of FAMU, thanks to one of your star graduates, our colleague Yvette Miley. Thank you so much, Dr. Robinson, for joining us. As COVID-19 